So we've gone full circle. We've started off by introducing Will, who's purchased this building behind us, how he's done it, how he figured out the right areas to invest in, from maximizing your rental units to really multiplying your rental units, to then putting it to the, through the Burr strategy and finding a property manager, and now going full circle, what do you do? It's the end game. So yeah, there's basically two options. You're either gonna buy and hold or you're gonna sell the property. In this particular case, we've decided we're gonna buy and hold. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is exactly what we've talked about in the other videos. So we've gotten to a point where we've built up enough cash flow that we've increased the appraised value of the property and we're able to do an equity takeout. Now we actually have upwards of 3 million available and we're only taking out 1.5, which is all we're gonna need for the next deal. So fantastic strategy. It keeps this property in the portfolio continually performing and we move on to the next one. Now, another option is of course to sell the property and that's where you come in. All right, well, I'm always a fan of actually keeping properties. If they're working well, keep them. It'll only do you good. But if you need to sell, then sell well. And what I mean by that is try to make the property so appealing that you'd wanna buy it again, okay? Now, there are methods to do this. You know, you wanna make sure the appeal is top notch. You get the, all the units, you, preferably get a model suite that you can show off when you're, when you're showing it to prospective buyers. Another thing I'd like to mention is making sure when you're selling it, you're hiring the right team to do so. Because I've come across so many realtors that put on no package, no marketing package whatsoever, and you're left here trying to figure out what this building, what this investment actually has to offer my clients. And that's not the right way to do it. Put together a marketing package that actually sells the property so damn well that it tells you why it's so good for the landlord and for the tenants. So you don't want to just advertise to the landlords or future landlords out there, investors. You want to advertise to why it's important to the tenants because they are truly the asset. I know this building's our asset, but you know who else is? Our tenants because they're the ones who are paying down our mortgage. Good landlords are going to respect any time you can focus on the tenants because really they're going to see everything that the building can offer them and they understand good tenants means rent gets paid on time, it means top notch rent, which means the investment is going to perform. That's right. So thank you for watching this. We really appreciate you sticking through and learning as much as we can share. But to learn more, I want to actually say that Will has a course that he actually has put together. It's so detailed, so incredible. I, I rec actually recommend many of my clients to actually go there. It's in the link below. It's realestateinvestmentpro.com. Yeah. You got to check it out. Well, I, I appreciate that. Like it's, it's one of my passions. As you know, this is something where I've got uh, you know 21 properties in my portfolio and I don't need to work anymore if I don't want to. So this is something that I enjoy doing is getting other people into this game because you know the Wall Street casino just seems ridiculous to me. So real estate investment is the way to go and just to put it back on you, uh, when it comes down to it, buying a property, selling a property, whatever the case, of course you've got to deal with a guy like Andre, but in the investment game, when you're buying a property, like we talked in the previous episodes, you need someone with the street knowledge and also that database that you're just not going to find anywhere else. So, you know, in, in turn, <laughs> in kind, I suppose, you know, uh, definitely talk to him if you're serious about buying an investment property anywhere within, I would say, Southern Ontario, but, you know, the focus being, of course, the GTA. Thank you, Will. Yeah. And thank you for you viewers for watching us. I hope you gained some information here. Thanks so much. Take care.